What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Diesel Dog video. I got a continuation here on our sump pump discharge line project. If you saw my last video, then you saw that I had to dig up a portion of the driveway here on the front, uh, right in front of the garage door to replace the uh, cracked and eroded away non-existent discharge line that was in uh, corrugated pipe, basically replaced with PVC. Now I need to patch the driveway, but it, since it is so eroded and uh, sunk down, I basically have to tear all this up and just redo it because there's really no repairing the way it was before. So cracking it up, I gotta tear it all up with a sledgehammer here, this pry bar, cracking it and getting it with the pry bar worked pretty good. This all took me about three hours here. Uh, I noticed that this driveway, the pour is really inconsistent. Like some parts are like two inches thick, some parts are like five inches thick. So it's no wonder the rest of this driveway is just cracking and uh, just kind of sinking down in parts. This driveway just needs torn up, replace the whole thing. But right now it's just not an option for me. So tearing this up, trying to do a do-it-yourself uh, patch job is uh, basically what I'm going to try doing here. I'm just trying to get all the big stuff out of there. A lot of these little pebbly kind of rocks, I did leave some of those in there and ended up burying them in there. But uh, like I said, it took, it took me about three hours to get all that done. So here you can see kind of the full scope of the area that I'm doing here. I got some fill dirt. Um, I just robbed from another part of the house. Um, part that we're doing as well. So um, Spread some dirt down there and even it out and just trying to pack it down I ended up buying some rocks to throw down. I just used that bag of rocks to uh, Kind of pack all this stuff down. It worked pretty good here. You can see I'm just on the end there So pack it down. I'm gonna spread these rocks down and got it pretty level You can see on the left side there. I got some paving stones um, I'm not going to put the concrete all the way up to that front porch patio uh, right there I'm gonna bring it out basically on the other side of that line I change in case anything ever happens you can dig it back up and then I'm gonna do something else right in that little spot there but got some rocks down pretty leveled out and uh, you can see my little helper there and here is our bags of quickcrete I started out with 14 bags of quickcrete and I kind of did a rough, rough guesstimate here. I thought 14 would do it. It did not. I ended up having to go get eight more bags. And I actually probably needed 10 more bags. But here I basically am dumping all this. I got my 14 bags dumped. I'm not going to bore you with opening each bag. But uh, like I said, I got it all filled in. I got about halfway over and realized that it wasn't going to be enough. So I had to run back to Lowe's. And I got eight more bags of the same kind of quick crete. And uh, it just, it is what it is. Uh, next time, I will definitely make sure that I have enough. If I have extra, then I can just return it. But uh, yeah, so after grabbing eight more bags, here you go. I still probably needed like one more bag for that left side there. Um, you can see the right, I've got really smoothed out real nice. I got over to the left side and realized that it's not going to be enough. So I kind of had to try to rob some from kind of the middle on, try to make do with the material I had and kind of, uh, kind of stretch it. So uh, as far as getting it super level, it ended up not being, it looks, it looks really level in this uh, camera angle but it's not as level as I thought I would, uh, I would end up getting it for before I uh, started to put water on this thing, but it is what it is. Um, I found this trowel with a, a sponge on the bottom and I thought maybe using that would uh, kind of mimic the roughness of the rest of the driveway uh, instead of trying to get one patch that's super smooth and nice and the rest of it just needing replaced anyways um, I decided to try this and it didn't look too bad the only thing is a lot of the little pebbles just kept coming up to the top I was worried about that when uh, we started misting it and showering um, the concrete getting it wet uh, how that was going to turn out 
but uh, after you know doing this for a while, I really just couldn't get those pebbles down underneath the the powdery stuff. You can see the left side still looks really smooth. Um, that's probably the best part there. If I had more material to work with and could have got a little bit smoother, probably would have been a better turnout um, in the end. But uh, as far as doing it myself, all by myself, getting this thing. Uh, spread out and for the first time trying this method um, you know I just kind of had to to live with it and tell myself you know it's not going to be perfect it's better than not having anything there it's better than having a dug up driveway it is what it is so here is the first misting so what I found on other YouTube videos is you want to do your first mist uh, just getting the top part of the kind of like the powder uh, just dark you want to darken it up you're just damping it you can see my hose started leaking and is dripping which was not ideal I uh, got a couple water droplet uh, craters right off the bat trying this and that was a little frustrating um, it is what it is I I was able to hold it back a little bit and get my misting going. So you're just trying to darken up the top of that layer. You're going to do this two times. Uh, you're going to do it the first time, get it dark, wait an hour. And then you're going to do a second misting. All you're trying to do is get the top layer wet and a little bit dry and kind of turn it into a crust before you start laying the, the uh, water on thicker. So here's my first misting, starting to get darker, trying to keep the water droplets off as best I could. You can see it's starting to darken up there. Like I said, this is the first time trying this method, so I wasn't really sure how much to put on the first and second uh, misting, but I kind of was just winging it. Um, and everything I saw is, it said to just darken it up, so that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Get every square inch uh, a darkened uh, color just so you know you got some water on it and then you're gonna wait an hour there's all the bags of quick crete and that was fun trying to get those all bundled up in a bag and throw it away so here is misting number two um same thing just it's you can see it lighten back up because the water absorbed real quick so you're getting a second misting you're just trying to darken it all up and what I saw was you're going to do a second misting, wait an hour again, and then you can start your showering. Now, I will say I felt it uh, a couple times in this second hour of drying. It did start getting that little crusty on there on the top. Um, nothing, nothing really definitive, like just enough to where it probably won't uh, disform when you start showering it with with more water so just misting it trying to get it darker pretty easy concept make sure you have a uh, a garden hose and an attachment that's got the misting on it and then you're going to want the shower uh part on there too so trying to keep those water droplets off there that was hard it was a little frustrating i wish i would have caught that before trying this but this is the first time using the hose since last summer so just need a new hose all right so we waited an hour here is our first showering so wasn't really sure how thick to lay this on so you can see i kind of got it to where it was like almost looked like a puddle on top of it i tried to get each spot around there um just you can see it absorbs pretty quick uh, I did fast forward this a little bit just be, just to show you how quick that water absorbs into that concrete. So trying to get every square inch going through. Like I said, I wasn't sure how thick to do it, but that's just kind of what I figured uh, would work out best. So got in there um, and just tried to get it as evenly saturated as I could, but it was kind of hard. It absorbs so quick, it's kind of hard to remember exactly where you had already hit. Uh, but I went through, that's our first shower, and you can see it is absorbing pretty quick. By the second shower right here, you can't even tell that I had already saturated it once. So this is shower number two. I'm not gonna show you each one. I will say that uh, their rule of thumb 
that I found was two showers per inch of thickness, and I guesstimated about four to five inches. I ended up doing nine showers on this thing, and you're gonna wait an hour in between showers as well. I was kind of running on uh, out of time here, so I moved it up to about 45 minutes between showers. I don't know if that uh, hurt anything, but that's just kind of what I had what it had to do in my uh, time frame here. So, like I said, just waiting about 45 minutes. These first couple, I waited an hour, but then I kind of sped it up a little bit. So just saturating it, you're just uh, a shower. You're letting it absorb through there, and then after an hour, you can do your other shower. And uh, like I said, I went nine here, so wanted to make sure I got it good and saturated. You can see I'm running out of daylight here. So super easy concept. And uh, after about nine showers, I uh, waited and waited about two weeks, and I'll show you what we got here. So guys, it has been about two weeks now since we've done the dry pour. I'm going to show you what I ended up with. So this is the finished product here. Um, like I said, I wish I would have had like another bag or two to finish this, but I mean, it kind of works out cause I got a crack on that side of the driveway and just kind of matches the other side. So, you know, is what it is. Um, as far as like texture and stuff, a lot of the little rocks and pebbles you can see are kind of coming out already. It's a little rough, but the rest of the driveway is old and rough. Uh, so as far as matching it, I mean, I don't really care too much. I wish I would have knocked this section out there and done that part too, but gotta draw a line somewhere. This is just temporary patch. Like I said, this whole driveway needs redone. This is just to get us by for a year maybe two years we'll see what happens if this starts uh coming apart and stuff then then we'll have to reevaluate where we're at with that but for now i mean this section right here turned out all right um as it comes over here it's uh it's a little wavy uh just because i was trying to stretch the material over and make do with the amount i had but uh, yeah, I've rinsed it off a couple days ago because there's kind of like some fine powdery stuff on top, kind of crunchy, rinsed it all off. And this is kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I wanted to wait the two weeks. I'll probably wait till the end of the weekend to try to drive on it, or maybe I'll wait another week. Can't decide. I'll do an update video when we get to that point. But for now, I mean, I did this by myself. This is a pretty big section. Um, ended up being a little bit bigger than just looking at it, I anticipated. But like I said, not too bad. I think had I been wetting it, putting water in it, and trying to pour it in there, um, probably would have had a little bit more of a mess. I don't think I would have been able to do it quick enough to be able to uh, smooth it out and work the work the concrete there but quick creep cheap dry pour patch on the driveway let me show you the uh part over here with the form here you can kind of see uh turned out pretty good where my form it dried you can see right there is where we got it we got to do the uh landscaping now this house was built in 82 so it just needs some updating i anticipate a lot of this when i bought this house um didn't anticipate having to do all that i don't think anyone does but it is what it is we got it done if you're trying to do it yourself and you got a lot of material to cover i mean it worked out pretty good for me it, had i had a buddy where i can mix it they could dump it we could both tag team it then uh you know maybe i would have mixed it i don't think this is like either or, I think if you absolutely can mix it with water, do that. In a pinch, if you're by yourself and you can't, you can try this. I would anticipate that the longevity of this method is not as good as mixing it with water. Um, and a lot of concrete guys will probably tell you the same thing. But 
it's just a patch guys this isn't permanent like i said this whole driveway needs redone it's pretty cracked up um and it is what it is at least i can get the wife's car in and out and i don't have this big cracked uh corner over here like i had before where it eroded so i'm happy with the turnout um any questions leave some comments down below uh, if you're new to the channel, found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.